You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. that flogged you? Was I the one asked him to flog you? So why were you laughing at me? I wasn't yeah. laughing, just that the whole class were laughing. And you joined him and laughed at me too? I'm sorry, just that you look awkward, they are laughing and I'm not laughing. I wasn't laughing at you. <laughs> Tell it from my heart. <laughs> I was not crying because of the cane. I was not crying because the class that flogged me. Crying the moment I saw you laughing at me. You opened your mouth and laughed at me, Mike. After all we've done together, we've shared together. 
the mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You broke my heart. I'm sorry. I never saw it from that angle. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Please, if you. I never knew it was going to hurt you that way. I was only laughing. I was only just to prove that I'm, I'm a strong boy, not that I, I wanted to laugh at you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. If you Because you know, it's my fault. Please forgive me. Sorry. Yeah. Don't do that again. I cross my heart. I will not do it again. You made me to share my expensive cry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I've been looking for you all day. I was here. Sorry, yeah. I promise I'll never laugh at you. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Why now? Aren't we going together? No, no, no. I'm not going yet. Why? Let's go. We'll see you tomorrow. You seem as if you don't know him. He's waiting for his girlfriend if you know him. Uh-uh, Mike. Must you go home after school with her? Must you? Ask him. Uh, it's not a must and it's not your problem. Please just go, yeah? Okay. Tomorrow we'll see. Bros, go to school. What will you call this? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm fine, you doing? Mm. I went to the principal's office and I came back found out you left already. I don't go, I was waiting for you. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go then. Ladies first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Okay. Let's say ladies first. All right, see you. So when am I seeing you? Tomorrow is uh, Saturday and next is Sunday. So when, is, when exactly am I seeing you? Oh, I'll come tomorrow. I'll come tomorrow. Time? Uh, oh, when I'm done with my house choice, I'll come. Hmm. If I wait till 1 p.m. and I don't see you, I'll come over. No, no, don't. don't come to my house. So <laughs> I'll come. See, if you come to my house, you know my, my mother don't like females visiting me. Oh. Born again, mother. Mm -hmm. Ah, be cool. Good job. I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Oh, thank you. You are the first man I've ever known, Kanali. You took my virginity, and I'm so happy you're the one. But my fear is that I don't know if you love me like I love you. Ify, you know I love you. You know I truly love you. And it's because of you, my friends call me weekly. But I don't mind. For the love I have for you is strong. So, I'm afraid you're going to leave me someday. And losing you someday is my greatest fear on earth. Ify, to be frank with you, you're the one that's going to leave me. No, Michael. You know I can't leave you. You know how much I love you. I can't leave you, Mike. <coughs> you know, I've I've thought about this before. But I just I just decided not to take it to heart. Look at me, I'm still a young boy. I'm not ready for marriage till ten years or maybe fifteen years later. 
But look at you. You are ripe already. You are ready for marriage. By next year or next two years, suitors will start coming. And you can't withstand the pressure. And you know you can't. Mike, I can. I can withstand the pressure so long you are there for me. I promise never to take any proposal from any man. Mike. My love. I'm so happy to hear this from you. And I promise you, once I'm ready to get married and you are still single, I will always come for you. I'm surely going to marry you. I love you. And I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you too. I love you so <laughs> I'm so happy you're saying this now. <laughs> Don't leave me. No, I won't. I will never leave you. You were the bad girl. But you always get the good things of life. You were the first. You were the first to get a good and thriving business. You were also the first to get a, a car of your own. And now, do you want to be the first to get married to a man? Not just any kind of man. My first love. No, now. No, now, Lizzie, check him now, check him now, check him now. If now you unko, if now you unko, I can't take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to fail this relationship. This bestie. I'm sorry. I can't take it. I just can't take it. Babe, wait now, let me explain. You don't know what's happened to you. Make her explain now. Eh hey, hey. See, babe, as I was coming to see your prince charming, you know, I entered a cab. I answered one stupid, useless call from one of my friends. As I pick up the call, as I pick the call, finish, I drop him beside me. You know, and I got distracted. I don't know what happened. But then I slept off. I can't even remember. And I came down from the cab. I forgot my phone in that cab. I kept calling that number since yesterday uh, afternoon till night. He now went off. Thank God it was the I now called this morning. The driver now said, okay, that he was he saw my phone when he was brushing his car seat. That if I had if he had picked another customer when he dropped it, then that phone would have been missing. Yes now. I just received the phone this morning. Bele, my darling. Bele, bele. Oh yeah, come, I'm in the salon. I'm waiting for you. You too like Wala. This is my bestie safe. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> so my dear, I think the best option is for me to go with my mother's office. What are you talking about? You want to tell him that you were once a notorious stripper? Stop it! Stop! Which can you do with this? Eh? You won't use your own hands to spoil your relationship. Why are you go to the lacquer thing now? Why? How? Uh, he wants to be more drastic when he gets to find out from someone else. Babe, I'm not like this kind of talk when you talk. This guy is a new fish. He doesn't know anywhere in this town. He doesn't know anybody. Who will tell him? Who will tell him? It's just a small word, bro. Best way not me to wear if you just open mouth. Wow. You want you, 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 now you, you want to go carry stick and say, I was once a stripper. Okay, now why do you talk like this? This is a relationship. You just say we don't need to look for serious relationship. You don't say now. Now, marriage, you know, you need to guide it with everything you've got. Girl, women, they get relationship, take enter marriage. Let this be a secret you hold till death. Hmm? You get what I mean? You understand me now? You get me? 
Oh goodness God! You see, that is why I talk about. This is why I talk about you. Oh. I mean, what are besties for? What are when are you comes to advise you too much? You know, I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Ah, you too. See, I've been on the tea plate since, but just calm down. Yeah, calm down. Smush, smush up. Yeah. Hey, hey, that reminds me. We have an event this evening. Okay. Want it to be a better idea for me to bring my man so you get to meet him? This evening? Yes. <gasps> I would have loved to see him. But just that this evening, I have to go for a family meeting. My elder sister called me and told me that we have to discuss something. That if I'm not there, something will spoil. So I have to be there. But you can postpone it to tomorrow now. I suppose don't they there now. Now because I say you they come and I need to settle one of the things before I travel for Salu. You know now. I'm not tired for you. I bet when you come back. Oh, no worry, we'll go, we'll go see up on a different day. Wow, I don't ever finish. Yeah, see this hair. I want me to buy this hair. You go fit me. All the hairs one I don't buy for me, don't I don't change your life. I beg you. I beg you. That one at 2000. You say? Wait, see. That's Shoni, what? You're not the only one that's now. Ah, back, 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 back. Hello? Hello? Who are you? I am a concerned good Samaritan who wants to save you from destruction. The very destruction you're running into, freely. Do you go by any name? You can call me Egede Ege. Okay, Egede Ege, what destruction are you talking about? The very woman you took to your mom as a wife to be. And what about her? How could you? Huh? How could you dumble into a lady without proper investigation? Without questioning, you already proposed to her. Ijula Esaju, Imaru Nobu. How? Do you really know who she is? Imaru So what's your business in my marital life? I only want to save your innocent soul, Ebelekan Nemeli, to save you. You want to save my soul? Save my soul from what exactly? From the destruction you're running into, willingly. Which destruction are you talking about? Lizzie, the woman you want to marry, goodbye. Hello? Hello? What is it? Ever since you walked into my office, you've just been sitting down and looking at me in a very horrible and scary way. What is it? What have I done? I hope there isn't anything about you that I'm not told. Anything about me like what? Is there anything you think I should hear? The question is, did you hear anything about me? If you did, then you should come out playing and stop bitching about the bush. Who is Agedege? Excuse me? 
I mean, where in the green world did you bring out that ancient name from? I don't understand. Where the, what the hell is Ekedege? I don't know what that means. I mean, what type is that? Are you sure? Baby, I do not know anyone with that name. Are you sure? Good. You know what? I think this is this is getting out of hand. If you heard something about me, why don't you just tell me so I could at least make an explanation or something? What is this? Why don't you tell me about it yourself? Now you're beginning to drive me crazy and I am not going to go berserk just because I am in love with you. If you want to tell me something, you go straight to the point. After him and tell him everything. I don't know. Maybe it's not even what I'm thinking. Maybe it's something different. God, please. I do not want anything to happen to my relationship. I beg you. Please. I don't want to lose my man. What, what, what am I supposed to do? He had something. How did you know he had something? No, no, you can't judge like that. What you're thinking might be different from what he's thinking. You can't just judge because he's frowning his face. You think he had something. Yeah? But why would you talk like saying he's smoking? king and it's going to make me feel smoke? How will you just go and tell him your dirty secrets? Just like that. Yes, if he had it, if he hears about it, eh? You just explain it to him, not like you just go and tell him. There's some secrets we women should have. Don't go and use your own hand to ruin your relationship with me. I've told you this. Don't go and use your hand to ruin your relationship. Just, just let it be. Don't, don't, just do as if you don't know what's going to happen. You hear? That's what besties do, eh? Take care. <laughs> Sorry, yeah? What is it? Tell me, what is the problem? Thank God I ran into you. You know, I've been looking for a shoulder to lean on. You know, I'm looking for someone to talk to. I'm here. But I don't just know anyone in this town. I'm here. You can talk to me. What yeah. is it? You know the girl I told you I want to marry? Yeah, that girl. Yeah. What happened? I'm going to see her people. She has actually seen my people too. And I promise her people that I've been coming to collect the marriage list. I just want to do everything fast. Okay. Yeah. Little did I know that I'm... I'm actually running into my early grave. You are getting me confused. What's up? A certain number called me. 
to tell me some stuff. At first, I didn't want to take it serious, but at long run, the person sent me some pictures. Pictures? Yes. What pictures? <laughs> uh, Can I see it? Okay. This is the lady I want to spend the rest of my life with. <gasps> 